So additionally, with us among the hundreds of guests joining us, Hendrik Wüst, Ministerpräsident des Landes Nordrhein-Westfalen, Ministerpräsident of North Rhine-Westphalia. Hendrik Wüst. And a warm welcome to Henriette Reker, Obermö Bürgermeisterin von Köln, Lord Mayor of Cologne. Welcome. In allen ein herzliches Willkommen. Most Welcome to all of you. So I want to say a special hello to all the four team here in the room, as well as the thousands of employees across Europe joining us online for this very historic moment. Today's, <laughs> today's opening ceremony of the Ford Cologne Electric Vehicle Center is nothing less than that. Standing here today on the floor of the assembly plant, we are writing a new chapter in the long and proud history of Ford in Cologne. This plant has been at the heart of the European automotive industry since 1931. And now we are once again redefining auto manufacturing, implementing advanced technologies to build fully connected software-defined vehicles that meet our customers' demand for zero emission mobility. Right here is where our employees will build the first electric vehicle from Ford produced in Europe for our customers here in Europe. And not only are we building zero emission vehicles, we are building a cleaner, carbon-neutral future. We pride ourselves in being responsible not only in what we are building, but also how we are building. And the fact that Bill Ford and the Chancellor Olaf Scholz are here to share their thoughts with us today underlines the importance of this moment. So at this time, everyone, please give a very warm welcome to Bill Ford. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guten Tag, Cologne. This is a special day, and what a privilege it is to have Chancellor Schultz with us to help celebrate. Thank you for your partnership and also for your shared vision. This week, the Ford Motor Company celebrates our 120th year. Cologne Body and Assembly Plant has been part of that proud history for the past 92 years. Nearly a quarter of a century building cars and trucks that have become part of the fabric of Germany and all of Europe. From the Model A to the Capri to the Fiesta, our team of 56,000 people in Europe, 14,000 of you right here in Cologne, are part of our family. You are the heart of Ford Motor Company. Every day, your work brings the joy of motoring to families and businesses across the continent. The role we play in society is important, and I'm proud that together we'll now forge a more sustainable future for the whole planet. With our $2 billion investment, the team here in Cologne will build the next generation of 40 EVs in Europe. And that starts with building the new electric Ford Explorer right here on the River Rhine. All across Ford, we're electrifying many of our most successful vehicles. The Mustang, the Mach-E, the F-150 Lightning, and the E-Transit are creating excitement and selling well, not just in America, but around the world. I've never been more optimistic about our company's future. We offer iconic combu internal combustion vehicles along with all our new EVs. Other American automakers decided to leave Europe or sell their operations. We chose to stay, invest, and build a future, breathing new life into the Ford brand. And as a family business, I believe that I'm building the company for my children and my grandchildren. And that's why Ford is back in F1, back at Le Mans. This is the soul of our company 
pushing toward forward, testing the boundaries of innovation, embracing technology, and racing to win. And I know that this spirit is alive and well in Ford, Germany. Most of us will never know what it feels like to drive over 200 kilometers per hour, but that's an average Sunday on the Autobahn for many of you. And I want to keep that spirit alive into the next generation and the one after that. We're here to celebrate the start of a new generation of clean manufacturing and electric vehicles. The Cologne EV Center will be Ford's first carbon neutral vehicle assembly plant in the world. With the work the team is doing here, we're serious about leading the fight against climate change. This new plant will help us on our journey to making all of our passenger cars in Europe electric by 2030 and becoming carbon neutral as a company uh, here by 2035. And this also helps enable the company to reach our target of producing 600,000 EVs by the end of this year and 2 million EVs by the end of 2026. We're proud that we're the only American-based company to sign the Paris Agreement and the first to commit to carbon neutrality as an entire company by 2050. Our values drive this company forward. And this shift to an electric and digital auto industry is no different. When I joined the company, before climate science was mainstream, I was often mocked for suggesting that we try to make our company greener. I remember when I was working in Ford of Europe in the 1980s, and a chief engineer scolded me, saying, this green madness will pass and then we'll get on with building engines with no restrictions on them. And I merely replied to him, you're wrong. But the world has, uh, has thankfully changed. Technology has advanced. Customer tastes have progressed. Momentum is finally on our side. And we're now facing a real revolution that we can help lead. Climate change remains an urgent global problem that demands global cooperation and global solutions. I'm proud that our company is an example of working across borders with leaders like Chancellor Schultz and communities like Cologne and many more around the world to help solve the challenges that we face as a society. I've often, fe I've often felt, and I've always felt this way, that if a company is not making people's lives better, it probably shouldn't exist. Ford is more than a place to work. We aim to be a place of pride and opportunity for our employees and also their families here in Cologne and around the world. There's so much more to do, but as a company, I'm thrilled to continue our long relationship with Germany and with Europe and work together toward zero emission future for our children and our grandchildren. And now, I'd like to invite Chancellor Schultz to say a few words before we officially power on this assembly and begin the next chapter of Ford in Europe. Chancellor, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Honorable Mr. Ford, dear employees, honorable ladies and gentlemen, no construction line runs as quickly as the final assembly line in Cologne Neal. Fifty years ago, the Spiegel magazine wrote that. At that time, the work was demanding, and this is true today. And there is something else that is just the same today as before, something that might sound paradox here in the Ford plant in Cologne, they write history because there is always the future that begins here. Nearly 100 years ago, your predecessor, Mr. Ford, inaugurated this plant together with the mayor, the Lord Mayor of Cologne, Konrad Adenauer. At that time, there were hardly any cars to see on the streets and roads in Cologne, but rather horse carriages were around. Since that time, the Ford Motor Company at the Cologne site, about 18,000 million, 18 million cars left the plant 
plant. The fastest assembly line was followed by thousands of other innovations. The industrial park directly here located, and this is in true an innovation of European automotive industry. And now we take the next step into the future of the automotive industry. Probably this day marks a farewell from the combustion engine, the Fiesta car. But I do hope that this is a farewell without too many negative feelings, because you don't only end anything today, you start something new. A new era starts today in Cologne, the era of electrical mobility at Ford Europe, but the first Ford plant that exclusively produces electrical vehicles. As federal government, we do support this change from the combustion engine to electrical mobility. It's a central issue here, and this also includes the extension of the charging infrastructure, because it will only work out um, if you buy electrical vehicles, if you also can be sure that you can charge your vehicles everywhere. And for that purpose, we have taken important decisions and be preparing more, making sure that at every filling station, you also have the option to charge your electrical vehicles everywhere and maybe also at a supermarket and elsewhere. We have set ourselves an ambitious goal. In 2030, 15 million electrical vehicles shall be on the roads in Germany. And we also want to make sure that this is a company by a big investment and innovation um, action to have everything that you need for electrical vehicles, like battery factories. And here in Europe and Germany, these factories shall be developed and opened. Many decisions have been taken already, and we are preparing the ground for further decisions to be taken. So the essential requirements for future electrical vehicles are fulfilled based on the production here in Germany and Europe. And this is also true for the questions of many production sites for e-mobility. And I'm so happy that this is not the first one here in Germany, but in another one, and as I said, a very special one for Ford. And by the way, this demonstrates one thing, and we should not forget it. The future is already here with us. It's here to see. It's happening now. And it's different from people saying and um, warning and criticizing those at the assembly line in the factories. They want to have the future here with them. They don't want to rely on a technology that in 20 years' time won't play a role any longer. They want to be around the technologies that are important for the future. And this is also true for electrical mobility. If this is the future of the automotive industry, and all companies in the industry see it that way, they invest hundreds of millions to make that sure. If this is the case, then it should also happen that automotive industry in Germany can play some such a role for the automotive market as we have been before. And this only will be possible if we are in the forefront. Everyone knows that in the factory and elsewhere, also in this company. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, the man-made climate change is the biggest change and the most decisive one we're facing. This is why our country has decided to become climate neutral in 2045. And this is why the entire world says goodbye to the combustion engine and respective decisions have been taken everywhere. Political resolutions have been passed in this respect. Such a change cannot be shaped by making sure that you're sad that the good old times are over. You're focusing on something new, something better, on mobility which is clean. Mobility which makes sure that we can have a generation inheriting a world which is world while living. And of course, we also have to say if the world develops the way we want it to develop, if we see that the well-being can also be enjoyed by the people in Africa and South America, if they want to have as many cars on the roads as we have them, then this can only succeed if the mobility is clean with the technologies we're developing here and the technologies which are being produced here. For this new start, we 
we have the Cologne Electric Vehicle Center we are opening today, and you've learned it already. It's the biggest investment in the Ford's company history, and at the same time, it's a clear, a clear assignment, a clear commitment to Germany, to e-mobility, and to a fresh start. And I'm so happy, and I'm so grateful to you, Mr. Ford. This kind of decision is also a great proof of confidence you have in the entire Cologne staff. Dear colleagues, for many years you've been working so hard to make this plant to be one of the most efficient ones in Europe. Samir Özbek is a new colleague. I just talked to him. And his grandfather was already one of the first guest workers, as we call them, people who came from Turkey here to Germany, to Cologne. Back then in Ford, we had more Turkish employees than in any other industrial area. Lots of them have remained, and we're happy about that. They have supported our economy and built up our country. So this is what family Özbek did. Not only Sami Özbek's grandfather worked here, also his father, Hakan, worked at Ford. And now he is working here too, the grandson, three generations of Ford, three generations of Cologne. Ford, that is Cologne. The spirit, dieser Stadt, the, spirit the spirit of this city and the spirit of Ford are a very good match. And the company culture of Ford is part of the way to live in Cologne. Sami Özbek described this feeling in a movie such like that. For most of us, the Blue Oval is not only part of a job, it's part of our life, it's part of our family. And also today, we need qualified, skilled workers from abroad. 400,000 per year, this is what the experts say, because work will not run out in the next years to come. And this is why the federal parliament will have a vote on the Expert Workers Migration Act. But this is only a piece of paper. There's much more to do to make sure that integration succeeds, that cooperation is a success, and all that is part of your daily experience here in Cologne at Ford. And I have one wish at the end of my presentation. Keep that spirit, safeguard it, make sure that you move on working together for a successful future the way we're doing it today. I understand that the big moment has come. Please join me again on the stage. Together, Bill Ford and Chancellor Olaf Scholz will now officially open the Ford Cologne Electric Vehicle Center. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. signals the start of a new era for Ford in Europe. A testimony of Ford's commitment to support a sustainable and inclusive transportation future.
Vielen herzlichen Dank. Thank you again, Chancellor Scholz, and thank you, Bill. The opening of the Cologne Electric Vehicle Center is such an exciting moment for the whole Ford team in Europe. It's a moment of tremendous pride for the team on this assembly line who will build the first electric car from Ford produced in Europe for our customers here in Europe. Thank you all for joining us today. Ford's electric future is here. Thank you.